Well, Pat and Paul, we can certainly feel the challenges firefighters are facing right now. It is very windy up here, which is not uncommon for Porter Ranch. Winds fueled 40 miles an hour and strong gusts at very often times. Now, take a look at the hills behind us. That is where the fire is burning right now. Let's take a look from above from Sky 2 at this point. The flames burning in a remote area that was difficult for firefighters to reach on the ground. So they're using air resources for an aggressive attack. At this point, no structures threatened, no evacuations either. As for a cause, LA City Fire says, although it is still early at this point, they believe it was caused by downed power lines. That was the cause of the Cessnon fire back in 2008 in this area. Several homes burned here as a result. He also said there are a lot of high tension power lines in this area, which can make it tough for air crews. You can see here there are a lot of people gathered here on the corner. Francisco, if you want to uh, pan over to the corner, a lot of people who live in this area are out here just curious and taking pictures. And right now joining me is Craig Galanti, who lives in one of these homes. And Craig, tell me what your concern is. Well, I'm always concerned with these these high wind situations. It is so dry and these hillsides you know, they are just so barren and it's very common to have a fire here. And then it gets complicated because, you know, we're on the heels of the anniversary of the Aliso Canyon gas blowout. And had we had a, a brush fire like this during that, that gas blowout, it would just be devastating. So I'm very concerned about this. I live like one, just a mile and a half away from this very site. But no word of any evacuations, correct? We have heard nothing about evacuations. You know, L.A. fire is so good. It seems like they got it under control. Awesome. Well, thank you for speaking with us and stay safe tonight. Thank you. So that is the latest. Back to you in the studio.